Jai Gurudev children. How are you all? Good? Nice. So in today's class, we shall recollect the story of bedtime. That is lesson number 6. And also do a few exercises from our workbook. This story is about a little girl and how she feels about going to bed every night. When it is bedtime, she lies and thinks of all the fun things that she can do the next day. So, she plans accordingly. First, she plans to sing and dance in her room. Second, she wants to enjoy her day playing with her friends in the park. And she loves playing the slide. Third, she helps, she plans to help her mother in the kitchen and also learn to bake a cake. Once the cake is ready, she invites her teddy bear to join the party. Then she enjoys herself blowing the bubbles in the air and bursting them. At last she plans to go to the zoo with her father to see the monkeys, the naughty little monkeys and the tall giraffe. Now that the next day is planned, she is ready to go to sleep. Now that her next day is planned, she is ready to sleep. She says good night and goes to sleep. She says good night to her parents and goes to sleep. Now take out your Gulmohar Language for Life book and open page number 43. Amy Complete these sentences using words from the box. The given words are Mother, Friends, Dance, Teddy Bear and Bubbles. First one. The girl likes to dash around the room. What does she like to do? Dance. That's good. Second one. The girl can play on the slide with her Friends, very good children. That means you remember the story, isn't it? Third one, Dash will teach the girl how to bake. Who is going to teach the girl? Mother, wonderful. Next, Dash and the girl can have a tea party. With whom does the girl wants to have the tea party? Yes, with the teddy bear. The girl will blow dash in the air. What is she trying to do? Yes, the girl will blow the bubbles in the air and she is trying to burst them. Be mean. Read the question. Then tick the correct pictures. What do the girl wants to do tomorrow? What are all the things that she has planned for the next day? Let us see the picture and then answer it. She wants to slide with her friends. Is it true? Did she plan so? Yes. So let us put a tick mark. Did she plan to feed the birds? No. Did she plan to bake a cake with her mother? Yes. Put a tick mark. What about blowing the bubbles and bursting them? Yes. She planned it. So let us put a tick mark. What about the tea party with the teddy bear? Yes. She planned, right? After baking the cake, she planned to have a tea party with the teddy bear. So we shall put tick mark. What about swimming? Did she plan? 
No. How about going to zoo with her father? Did the girl plan for that? Yes. So let us put tick mark. What about visiting the beach? No, right? So she planned to go to the park and play on the slide, bake a cake, blow the bubbles, have tea party with the teddy bear and visit the zoo. Now take out your grammar and language skills book and open page number 32. Worksheet number 6. Worksheet number 6. Reading. Read this story. It is 8 o'clock at night. Pia is in bed. It is quiet and dark outside. Pia hears a strange noise. Hoot hoot. Pia looks outside. She sees two big yellow eyes. She is scared. Ma! She calls. Her mother comes to her room. She asks, What is it, Pia? Look there, I am scared, says Pia. Her mother looks outside. She sees a baby owl and smiles. She says, It is just a baby owl. It wants to say good night to you. Pia smiles and says, Good night, little owl. The owl says, Hoot hoot. Be me. Complete these sentences. First one, It is 8 o'clock. Dash. They have given two options. In the morning, At night. Which is the correct option, children? At night. Yes. So write down at night. Pia looks outside because the given options are she hears a strange noise. Someone calls her. Why do you think Pia looked outside? Yes, she heard the strange sound, isn't it? So, we shall complete the sentence by writing, She hears a strange noise. Pia looks outside because she hears a strange noise. Third one, Pia calls mother because she dash. Why did Pia scream? Ma! What do you think she, uh, she called her mother? Because she was scared. That's correct. So, we will complete the sentence by writing is scared. Pia calls mother because she is scared. Fourth one. When mother sees the baby owl, she dash. What did the mother do? Was she scared? No. Then she smiled. Yes. So, when mother sees the baby owl, she smiles. Write down the word smiles. Fifth one, at the end of the story, Pia is, was she still scared at the end of the story? No, she was not scared anymore. So, we shall complete the sentence by writing, not scared anymore. D mean, look at these pictures. Choose the correct words from the box. The given words are jumps, combs, rings, stands, sits, runs. First one, it's already done for us. Let us read it out. The bird dash on the branch. The bird sits on the branch. We have to observe the picture and then answer children. Second one, grandma dash her hair. What is she doing? Combing, right? So, grandma combs her hair. Third one, jeet dash over the wall. 
what does the uh, jeet the boy do yes jumps see me underline the doing words in these sentences first one is already done for us let us read it out i drink mango juice in summer here drink is the doing word second one the mouse hides in the corner what does the mouse do hides so hides is the doing word third one grandma feeds the fish every morning what does the grandma do every morning feeds the fish feeds is the doing word fourth one john writes letters to his grandmother what does the uh, what does john do he writes so writes is the doing word fifth one i watch cartoons on holidays watch watch is the doing word very good children sixth one bears sleep in winter what do the bears do in winter sleep so sleep is the doing word in this sentence got it children fourth one the bell dash at 9 o'clock the bell rings at 9 o'clock fifth one the deer dash very fast the deer runs very fast very good children sixth one amol dash at the bus stop what is he doing amol is standing amol stands at the bus stop got it children very good e mean draw lines to match the words to the correct pictures first one what is the monkey doing here it is hanging from a branch so we shall match it with the word hang second one what is the girl doing over here she is shouting she is angry and she is shouting so we shall match it with the word shout third one what is this boy doing yes he is hitting the ball so we shall match it with the word hit fourth one what is this girl doing she is reading a book let us match it with the word read fifth one what happened why is this boy crying so here we need to match with the word cry yes what about the last one what is this girl doing listening to the music so we shall match it with the word listen all these words cry hang shout listen hit and read are action words or doing words that's it for today See you in next class. Jai Gurudev.